Yo guys and welcome to another video. We are on our way guys to pick up a new project car. We don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mark 3 Golf VR6 uh, with a compressor guys. It's supercharged. It's a very nice car. It's purple violet. It's origi original Highline. Yeah guys, I'm very excited. We checked the car out yesterday. We bought it, we're going to pick it up right now. We're going to take the supercharger from that car and build it on the yellow track day car of Frank. And the complete car I will hold on for my own, uh, for an upcoming project on this channel. But you guys will see, it's a completely custom car. So I'm very excited about that. And in about five weeks, we have an event in England at Centerpot VW Breakout so we are one we are going to try to yeah to rebuild your engine to build the supercharger on the yellow golf and make some rips in Centerpot and by the way the Tiguan Tiguan is no more with us guys <laughs> uh, I think around one hour ago I had yeah <laughs> I had a big accident. The complete <laughs> car is totaled. But luckily I'm fine. I had my seatbelt on, but the car is beyond repair. It's yeah, I will show you guys when we are back in the shop. So I'm very sad about that. So we have to look for another car, the maybe another car. Tiguan the or car. Yeah, I'm not going to buy a fucking Range Rover, <laughs> man. It's it's all trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's fucked, guys. But one thing, one less, one golf uh, more. So <laughs> let's go, guys. And here we have the Mark II VR6 from Arno. And there we have the Mark III, guys. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. So guys, this is the Mark III. Uh, the owner had the car since 2011, I think. Uh, it's a complete uh, VR6 with a supercharger. And it's a very custom car, a lot of custom stuff. The, the blinkers are gone, complete Audi TT dashboard. Custom Recaro interior. Yeah, it's it's a very nice car, guys. Very nice color also. They cleaned the the hatch like they did in the 90s. Yeah, we have the cleaning to do, but what we're we going to check if it will start, Frank. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we took the battery from the Tiguan because the Tiguan doesn't need any battery, a battery anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a problem with this car. It had some kind of knocking sound on the engine. And since then the car is parked around two years ago. So we're going to switch the battery and check if the car will start so we can put it on the trailer so yeah let's let's check what what will happen guys but yeah man very very nice project oh so yeah what a gunnet Ja, probeer het maar. Ja, misschien krijgt het ding op, misschien brandstofpomp vast. Ha, ha, ha. 
Dan heb je misschien douwen erbij. Ja. Dan moet ik zeggen, ik heb wel last met douwen hoor, met mijn boskas. So we loaded the car on the trailer. Uh, we're going to quickly drive to the previous owner to give him the cash and um, yeah, put the car on my name. And then we're going to drive to the back to the shop. Maybe we're going to drive real quick to the car wash, quickly uh, clean the car a little, and afterwards we're going to drive to the shop. So guys, I'm very excited about this new project. Let's go, man. Oh, we are six, man. So guys, back in the shop, and yesterday we picked up this awesome machine, man. I'm very happy about this new project. And I really love the color because purple is my favorite color. And it's the original VR6 Highline color, the purple violet Murbury. Like normally they are from the 97 Highline editions. Um, so what I want to do today is uh, put the car outside, take it off the trailer, take it outside, and we are going to check how clean we could get this car. But also, real quick, I'm going to show you guys the Tiguan that's parked outside with the damage. Yeah, guys, it was a real big crash. So, yeah, but luckily I'm fine. So, so yeah, it's so, so sad to see this car in the condition. Like the airbags, the airbags all, yeah, all popped. The complete windshield is... First, I thought, why is the windshield uh, broken so so high? But it's from the airbag, from the steering wheel. But yeah, guys, fucking hell, this car is finished. Yeah, very very sad about this, and I really have a lot of pain in my chest. Like yesterday, I already felt the, felt the pain, but. The day after, guys, man, also like breathing is like very painful, but yeah, I'm, I'm a guy, I, I don't want to sit at home, do nothing, so, and of course I have a new project car waiting for me on the trailer, so, but yeah, guys, it's, it's very, very sad, but luckily I'm fine, I had a very safe car, also the other car. Uh, there's no, the, 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 the driver of the other car also is fine. So yeah, that's of course the most important. But yeah, guys, let's take the Golf outside and yeah, let's check how clean we could get that car, man. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I'm very happy with the results so far. Um, I 
had a few days rest because I had lots of pain on my chest because of the accident with the T1. I have my ribs uh, bruised. So yeah, it's still a little painful, but it felt like I needed some time to, yeah, to keep it calm, you know. <laughs> it's very hard for me, but yeah, I'm feeling already a little bit better. Um, I'm now driving in the GLI to pick up my Portuguese friend from the airfield, Philip. Um, yeah, guys, we have some big things planned uh, this week. He's going to stay here the whole week, uh, help me out in the shop, and we are also going to Mexico with Corrado. So I'm also very curious about that. Um, yeah, guys, let's pick up my friend from the airfield and let's go back to the shop. And maybe we can check if we make uh, can make the first start of the, of the purple VR6. And also, of course, we have the cylinder head uh, back for the track day golf. So that will also be scheduled this week. So yeah, guys, let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Back home. <laughs> oh man. My rail. <laughs> So now the club is complete. <laughs> and we also have Juan here. So I think we're going to quickly eat something in Boxstall. And I really want to know if the, if the VR6 runs, guys. So, but first, let's eat something, man. So we are back in the shop and I'm really curious guys if we can start the VR6. I think we have a problem with the fuel pump, but yeah, like you saw in the video, we didn't check anything. We just tried to start it when we were um, to pick up the car. It would not start. I think it's the fuel pump or a relay or something, but yeah, I want to hear the engine run at least before taking off the compressor, the supercharger kit. Um, so yeah, we're going to switch some cars around, we're going to park the Tiguan outside. Um, I think I will leave the VR6 uh, underneath the Track Day Golf for now. And if it's necessary, we can park it on the blue lift. So yeah, the uh, Philip is also in the shop. Going to help me out today. <laughs> um, yeah, man. We still have a lot to do. Yeah, we have a lot to do today. And maybe afterwards, we're going to mount the cylinder head of the Track Day Golf. But that will be for the new video. So there, are, there will be a lot of content upcoming, guys, because I'm also going to make a video about the Corrado in action this weekend. So, yeah, man. No time to waste. Let's go, guys. <laughs> So guys, it's clear 
why the car has no fuel. And I think the previous owner did it on purpose because the engine has some problems. But if you look here, you see that the, the fuel hoses, but also the, yeah, the power for the pump, it's not even connected. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, it's almost sure that the engine will have, I think, a big problem. But the engine at least is going to, we're going to take the engine out and we have to repair the engine. But at least I want to hear what sound the engine is, is making. So, yeah. Philip, what do you think? Let's connect the fuel lines. Uh, 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 at least try it. You know? At least try it and to see what, what, what happened. Problem. What will and happen? Afterwards. Fix the, the rest. The worst that can happen. It's like the engine will blow up. <laughs> and then we need another engine. But was already that's confused, worst case so. scenario, guys. <laughs> no, no, just joking. No, I don't think that would, will happen. No, me neither. Of course not. The, but, only thing, the only thing could be just someone knocking on the door. Yeah, <laughs> like, hey man, I yeah. want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, we're going to connect the fuel pump. And let's just start the car, guys. So we came to the conclusion that the complete pump is fucked. <laughs> it's like even ro rotten, rusted. It's like very, very bad. Also the other side. <laughs> it's very bad. But also the inside in, in the fuel tank, it's also very dirty and it smells it smells a lot it doesn't even smell like fuel oh, no a little bit like ethanol even yeah like so water i don't think we're going to start the car like this we're going to drain the the fuel uh, tank fill it up with new fuel fresh fuel and, and at least pump. try another pump yeah. <laughs> Because um, it's fucked. It's fucked. So, yeah. Let's put another pump. Let's put another pump and let's drain the fuel. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> so we are now sucking all the fuel out of the tank. Oh, it's it's already almost empty, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's going very fast. So let's, afterwards, let, we're going to clean it a little. Um, we're going to, um, yeah, to buy some new fuel. And we have a lot of Audi TTs parked here. It's our uh, car for parts, parts cars. Um, so we're going to take a fuel pump from an Audi TT and it will work on the Corrado or on the VR6. Also, Audi TT uh, fuel cap. Yeah, it's a very nice car. Also, how they installed the complete Audi TT interior and it all works fine. It all works very nice. My opinion is it really looks nice. They cleaned the bumpers, they shaved the, the side panels. It's a real real late 90s early 2000s style car and to be fair i like it i like the early tuning style cars because um so i'm thinking about just keeping it this way with the longer hood the extended hood uh yeah he, philip doesn't like the hood no. <laughs> first thing no. that philip said was like Take Wooden. up the hood, man. Yeah. <laughs> Change the hood. Yeah. So, guys, we already filled up the jerry can with some fresh fuel. Um, now we are going to drive back to the shop. We took the Corrado with us for Philip. It was also a long time, yeah, long time ago. It was last summer yeah. because in November you were here and the Corrado was already out of uh, yeah. 
out of business. Because of the clutch. clutch. Oh, because of the clutch, yeah. yeah. So we are now on our way back to the shop. Quickly make one pull just for fun. <laughs> and then we're going to work further on the VR6. So, like you saw in the video, I thought, hey, the car is shifting a little bit funny. I and everyone know. is telling me, why you haven't converted yet to the 0 to G uh, shifting tower and uh, cables? And guys, now it's time. <laughs> you already did it. You already, you already said that I fucked it. Yeah, I already said inside of the car. Yeah. When you fell the third gear, I said... So, what happened? I, I fucked it. <laughs> I fucked it. It happened the same as mine. I broke here and I broke inside of the chipping, chipping link. Okay. It bent and it broke. So. so guys, before this weekend, we have to convert it to zero to G. <laughs> it's easier. It's much better. I, I know. But I was like, this is working. Gonna like it's it. working, so it's fine, you know. You're gonna like it, Phil. Yeah. But now we have to. Yeah. For... Uh, Sunday? No, no Saturday. Saturday. And Saturday. maybe Friday, but I think Saturday. Yeah. Saturday we're going to Mexico, guys, so... It has to be ready. It has to be ready. <laughs> but we have the fuel, so let's fill the fuel 6 up with some fresh fuel. Uh, put the fuel pump inside of the fuel tank and yeah, let's, let's crank the engine, guys. Let's go. Oh, it's already loose, I think. Yeah. yeah. They emptied the fuel tank already. But they uh, mounted it back. Maybe you can mount that one straight as it is. No, because the plug is different. Yeah, the connectors. Yeah. It is also possible to mount uh, a Mark IV platform pump into a Mark III. Because I did the same on the Corrado. I reused my original G60 housing. Hmm. And just mounted the the Mark IV platform PD150 uh, pump inside. Without it. changing the the full leveler, yeah. Without yeah. changing the housing and the leveler. Because uh, usual the guys what they do in Portugal they put the um, the Ibiza uh, fuel tank. Oh yeah. And the Grofters because it's, it's easier. It's only necessary on the Mark II. No. When you have, because the older I, version. Or you use an external. It's also possible, but a, a PD1, PD130, PD150, a PD engine. Yeah. Also only needs a half a bar to pump run, yeah. Because the high pressure pump, it's on the engine. I like four. Yeah. Four bar. <laughs> the sound. 
<laughs> it sounds racy, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's mount this pump into the golf, fill it up with some fresh fuel, and let's check what will happen, guys. <laughs> Maybe we'll we will hear some Peter Six noises. Good. Is enough. We build up a little bit of oil pressure. The, the fuel pump is not uh, kicking in on the ignition, so we we use a second battery <laughs> with some cables. So we're going to jump start the fuel pump. <laughs> Ja? Ja, roep maar als je weg bent, ja. Klap maar op. Start er maar. Dit is wat de laatste van haar staat. Ja. Let's go. So guys, we tried to make the VR6 start, but yeah, I, I think there will be some other issues with this car. I, I also um, connected the, the laptop and checked for errors with VCDS, but I also could not make a connection with the ECU, so I think it's like related with the alarm. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, so we have to, uh, some figuring out to do because it's not only the ECU, it's also the, the fuel pump. The, both. It, both. Both. We also found a second fuel pump, guys, underneath the car. Um, so we jumped the, the fuel pumps, give it power with an external battery, but yeah, it, it, it gives a little kick. Yeah, but also. But the, it has no no connection with the ECU. No, the the fuel reached the fuel rail. The yeah, the fuel. The spark also we check. We the check the spark. There is fuel uh, here at the fuel rail, but I think it's an electronical problem. I think it's the the alarm that is stopping the ECU because it's yeah. the first thing they the alarm gonna stop is the ECU. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like uh, some kind of immobilizer from yeah. the Clifford alarm. Yeah. Or maybe the, also the, the key is out of battery and maybe it doesn't recognize it because it's, they did yeah. a full... We, uh, have, we have some, dashboard. at least we have some figuring out yeah. to do. So guys, we wanted to wrap up the video, but we could not stand that the car was not running, right, Philip? Yeah. So we thought, let's at least check at the fuse box. And I said, like 109, normally it's like ECU or the fuel pump. We touched it. And we have fuel pump sounds. And we have connection with our laptop on the ECU, guys. So I think it's going to start right now. <laughs> or it's going to blow up. But let us least, at least check what, it will, what will happen. Oh, man. What? Yeah! <laughs> What's knocking? Does it, it doesn't, doesn't even knock, knock man. man! What? Free engine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go! <laughs> no, keep it, keep it open. I just want to hear it run. We yeah, are yeah. going to run. <laughs> he <laughs> wants to run. Run with you, man! There's no way! There's no way on the side. He's been for four years, man! He's already closing the hood. He wants to run. There's no tire. No, no air in this net tire. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Yeah. Not the thing. Yeah. Oh, 
water, put water oh. inside. Yeah, I, I put water in. Or then it's now the other Whoa, whoa! It fucking runs, guys. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm so happy. <laughs> First, I thought, oh man, it's going to be a real gremlin. Like it is some kind of problem, like electrical wise. Just really. Yeah. It was uh, like the Portuguese sauce. Yeah. <laughs> it needed a little it. bit I of the Portuguese it. sauce. I <laughs> it. So yeah, guys. This time I'm going to wrap it. Uh, wrap the video up. Um, with a great ending. Yeah. It's successful first start. V6 supercharger parked for like three or four years. It has a little knocking sound, but I think it will be a Conrad bearing. So it would be no problem at all. We're going to fix it and the car will be back on the road very soon. So guys, it's, it's an easy fix. It's an easy fix. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. Spam that like button and I see you guys in the next one. Ciao! <laughs>